Hey Taurus, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. This is your two first weeks of the year reading. So Happy New Year, everyone. Uh, thanks everyone for your patience. I'm still recovering from food poisoning and a UTI. I can't even explain to you guys what I've been through this past week. It's been awful. One of the most painful weeks I've ever experienced in my life. Uh, so we're going to just move ahead and hope I can get the rest of the signs done. And if I can't, I can only do a little work at a time. I'm just really, my body is just trying to recover. So um, it, I know it's been a slow go. So if you're looking for any of your other signs, I did Cancer, Sagittarius, Libra, Capricorn, and now Taurus. And my plans are to do Gemini and Aquarius next, okay? Just so you guys know. All right, let's do it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for Taurus. What do we need to know for the next two weeks? First two weeks of the new year. Hope everybody's having a great new year already. Uh, higher power. What else do we need to know? Taurus reading for the next two weeks. What do we need to know? What are the messages for Taurus? Okay, that's way too many. Could we just have one or two for Taurus? Okay, truth be told and happy, happy at bottom of the deck, soulmates. All right, so we have higher power and see how the keyhole's right at the uh, at the um, sixth chakra, the third eye chakra. We have happy, happy, which is a really great card in this deck. Truth be told about opening up, mass coming off in a soulmate situation. So this might be two people that open up to each other or one person opening up to the other person about something. Uh, I'm very curious to see what this is, Taurus. This does not have to be love, so don't freak out and be like, but I'm not in love. I'm not either. <laughs> I get it. Let's see what comes out. This could be about, you know, multiple different things. So let's find out. I do not, I, I agree. Like if I went to a reader and a reader constantly did love readings, I'd be out of there uh, because there's just so many other things I care about. But this could be um, some other soulmate relationship, a friendship, a family member, somebody you're very close to, a, you know, one of your kids, one of your siblings, anything, anybody. All right, let's do it. For me, there's soulmates come in all shapes and sizes. What do we need to know? What are the messages for this Taurus reading? Anything could come out during this Taurus reading right till the very last second. I can't stress that enough. Even after I leave this reading, I could click off, come back on with messages. It happens all the time. All right, let's look at Taurus. Now, this could be for anyone with Taurus placements or anyone else who's guided to see this reading for any reason whatsoever, why they've been guided here. It could be, I could be directly talking to a cross watcher. Okay. All right, let's do it. Taurus reading. What do we need to know? We've got page of swords reversed, the three of pentacles and the empress reversed. Okay. What else do we need to know? This, so this really could be someone you're not speaking to. Okay. King of wands reversed. So we got the king of wands and the empress both here reversed, maybe not speaking to each other. Okay. We got a challenge, the uh, fool here. Okay. And the queen of wands reversed and the page of wands reversed. We got an entire family over here. All right. So, um, this is really interesting. So you could be, this could be a situation where there's a marriage in place. And I say that because it's queen of wands and empress. I feel like they could absolutely be the same person, or this could be three different people because of the fact that we got that three of pentacles here. I really do feel there could be uh, three people involved in this. Uh, and like I said, this page of wands came out. Now this could be a child, but it definitely doesn't have to be because you also have the page of swords up here. I feel like um, somebody's withholding energy and I feel that strongly because look, we have the four of pentacles plus we have the knight of cups reversed. So someone's holding that cup back. Um, why are they holding it back? I don't know if someone's like they're, the challenge is to take the actual leap of faith to actually, truth be told, put myself out there to actually do something about this. Let's find out. I mean, this could be a whole family situation. Again, I'm, uh, you know, this could be um, 
siblings. This could be a parent and the siblings. This could be brothers and sisters. It could be anything, but it seems to be, I really do feel there's at least three people. There could even be three adults and two kids involved. There's people everywhere. Um, with a reading like this, it's hard to read a reading like this because we've got people, 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 people. Every card is a people card except for the three of pentacles and the full smack dab in the middle. Is that crazy? All right, let's see what we can find out. What else do we need to know about this reading, please, for anyone who's guided? It's a Taurus reading for anyone who's guided. Taurus reading for anyone who's guided. One more shuffle, Taurus reading. One more shuffle, Taurus reading. <clears throat> Keep in mind, we're going to go all the way here to the after tarot over here because um, this is a two-week reading. And I'll go, I'll, I'm so sorry. This was Wisdom of the Oracle, Gilded Royale, and um, Wheel of the Year. And we're going to go all the way to After Tarot at the end of this reading to go into a second week here. All right, Spirit and Angels, Taurus reading for the next two weeks. What do we need to know about the Three of Pentacles? Why is it here as the central issue? Three of Pentacles as the central issue. So a decision, okay. Decision, two of pentacles. All right, that's interesting. All right, let me get a look at the fool. What about the fool? The fool is a challenge. Why is the fool a challenge in this reading? Okay. Yeah, do I put in the work and effort? I got the same uh, kind of message here as well. Eight of pentacles reverse. So someone hasn't decided yet whether they're gonna put work and effort into something. But until they make up that decision, they are so depressed thinking about it. They're like, Spirit, when are my cups going to be filled? You know, uh, that's the four cups. But look at how she's depressed, um, waiting for Spirit to fill the cups. But it's really about when will I, when will my soulmate put in this effort or when will I put in this effort? So this really could be someone here deciding when they're going to, you know, if they're going to put effort into something and the challenge is to actually take the leap of faith, put in the work, take the mask off, speak the truth. I feel like whatever's going on here, um, there's been like, again, somebody has been holding this energy back. Same thing I said in the very beginning. Exactly. All right, let's see what we can find out. Tell me about the Page of Swords reverse. What is it we need to know about this Page of Swords in the reverse? Oh, it went right back in. It was that same four cups. I saw it with the, you know, the cups outside the window. Tell me about the, uh, should I speak up? Will, will I speak up? Will they speak up? Uh, you know, this can just as easily be someone who's waiting for someone else to speak up. Tell me about this Page of Swords reverse. What do we need to know? Okay, yeah. Strength in reverse and the Five of Pentacles. So somebody really has been um, feeling left out in the cold here. Like, I, 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 there's nothing I can do. I feel left out in the cold. This person's not speaking to me. Page of Wands reversed, which is what we were kind of uh, clarifying here to begin with, with the uh, Page of Swords reversed. Now we do have the Page of Wands. It ends up in the upright over here. So I'm curious to know if we have a conversation here because truth be told, and this all says something about higher power, happy, happy, truth be told, soulmates. So this says to me, there's a conversation that can fix this. This could be something going on at work. This could be, you know, these work cards are coming out, eight of pentacles, three of pentacles, but this could also be putting work or effort into a friendship, a family ship, a relationship, any kind of ship, right? All right, let's take a look at this Empress reversed. What about the Empress reversed? Taurus reading. Why is Empress reversed here? There, there it is again. King of Wands reversed. Same King of Wands is reversed. And what is this? The hanged man in the up, or I'm sorry, in the reverse, observing something, seeing something. So we got this Empress here who's 
seeing things from another perspective, possibly about a tower that happened between her and a uh, Leo, possibly. This person could be a Leo. There's something here about um, seeing, it really is about seeing something from um, a different perspective or gaining some kind of enlightenment in a situation. Uh, I feel like this is your energy. I feel like you're seeing something that happened differently or you're trying to make a decision based on something that happened here. It was a tower. Tell me about the King of Wands reversed here. What about this King of Wands reversed? He's showed up twice already. Taurus reading. Three of Pentacles again, Nine of Pentacles. Wow. Three of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. So many Pentacle cards about business or work showing up in this. But yet we're talking about a soulmate relationship here. So this is very curious to me. It makes me feel like, should I put effort in? Like it might not be about work. It might not be about, should I put effort into relationships, to friendships, to whatever this is? Um, I'm going to look right at that Three of Pentacles because it keeps showing up. Tell me about this Three of Pentacles here. What do we need to know about it? Why does Three of Pentacles keep showing up in this reading? Wow. The Empress reversed again. Repeat, repeat, repeat. King of Wands has come out twice in reverse and Empress has come out twice in reverse. So we have here uh, the Ace of Swords with the Hermit on it, seeing things from another perspective like the Hanged Man with the Empress reverse. Same exact energy repeated here twice. Unbelievable. So this really is about seeing things clearly about a situation that could have involved Pentacles. Um, I'm going to look right at the Nine of Pentacles because that showed up in all this too. Tell me about the, it's the only thing that showed up that's not exactly the same as something else. Tell me about this Nine of Pentacles, please. Why is it here? Nine of Pentacles. What is it we need to know? Taurus reading. Yeah, there. that's your card, the Hierophant in the reverse. That's your energy again in the reverse. But this is another card about um, commitment. It could have something to do with a, um, so you severed a tie with someone and so something happened here and someone became nine of pentacles single because a commitment was severed or a tie was severed. Something happened here. Tell me about, um, queen of wands reversed, just the queen of wands reversed. Let's look at her. Oh, it went right back in. I, it looked like it was that tower reversed. Tell me about the uh, Queen of Wands reversed. Is there anything we need to know here? That's way too many, but let's take a peek. Oh, it's only two. It felt like a whole stack. Okay, we've got the Four of Wands and we've got the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. All right, so... Uh, like I said, that um, tower flipped all the way in and back, like out and back in. And it was that tower reversed, that something that already happened. All right. So I feel as though this is coming. We've got the Wheel of Fortune and we got the Four of Wands. This is really nice energy coming in on the heels of something that happened. Uh, but this is coming in with some kind of I feel like you're, this really has to do with someone communicating this um, page of wands here. And at the bottom, you have the two of swords again, reverse saying a decision like the two of pentacles here, a decision being made to communicate, to turn the wheel, to bring in this four of wands, to bring, I, and I almost feel like this is an opportunity for someone to take an action they haven't taken yet. Um, to, I feel, bring um, people back together. I don't know if this is family or if this is a work situation, but someone has been withholding this energy or ha has been thinking about it, 
but hasn't done anything about it or someone's waiting for someone else to do it. There's one of two things happening here where this is either you thinking about doing this or someone else think, or you're waiting for someone else to do this. Tell me about, um, I want to know about wheel of fortune, four of wands, knight of wands, real, I mean, I'm sorry, page of wands, really nice energy here. Page of wands, four of wands and wheel of fortune. What do we need to know here? What do we need to know? Yeah, bringing balance back in. Somebody is going to bring, well, somebody could. They're thinking about it. There it is again. This card just keeps showing up. Four of cups. Spirit, when is my cup? When are my cups going to be filled? Well, when you take an action, the full, or when someone takes an action here. I don't know who needs to take the action. But when the action's taken and the wheel turns is when something gets balanced out. So I would say this reading's really going to be for someone who is really thinking about talking to someone. I don't care what kind of soulmate this is to you, whether this is a whole family situation, whether this is a friendship, whether this is more than one person. Uh, this could be multiple. Like I said, this could even be like conversations with siblings um, some of you could have had a rough Christmas because you really felt like this and you were like, if we were just all talking and all getting along, it would have been a really a much better Christmas. You know, why don't we, you know, I, this would be for specific people. Okay. For others of you, it could be that you're waiting for someone else to do this, but I definitely see someone becoming enlightened here about it, seeing it from a different perspective understanding something better i'm not sure this seems to have been the the issue seems to come from something either that has to do with um work or um money eight of pentacles three of pentacles what is it about the five of wands came out this could have been about a fight three of pentacles eight of pentacles this could have been a fight about money could have been a family feud could have been anything like this yeah in a partnership in a relationship in a friendship i almost feel like there was some kind of a uh a fight about something it could have had to do with pentacles or it could have happened at work or in some kind of project you were doing or something and someone wants to and is thinking about and it could be two people thinking about strongly um doing something about this to change it all of the all of the people are thinking about doing some and we actually have action being taken here where someone actually does something about it they speak on it or they turn the wheel after contemplating on it feels like i want to talk to my friends again i want to talk to my workmates again i know i left on bad terms or something like this okay or vice versa you're waiting for someone to contact you but please do let me know i'd love to hear from you down below in the comments section if you know what this is um it's very much about someone who's really thinking about coming in and speaking to someone and there's a sense of enlightenment happening at this time where someone's really reflecting on this it could have even been the holidays that caused this reflection uh let's get you a couple of after tarot but i gotta plug in our computer real quick guys hold on okie dokie don't want to lose this video all right let's pull you a couple of after tarot all right because these are two week readings what's next please what's next whoa all right wow look at that all right you got the three of wands the five of pentacles again and the seven of swords Six of cups at the bottom this could have something to do with um something someone did in the past so in other words somebody could have done something in the past and this left the other person feeling really hurt but this really is someone coming in from being left out in the cold see she doesn't stay out in the cold she gets up and goes inside so she's not going to feel like that for long because she's going to move forward Let's look and see if we can see what this is. What is this Seven of Swords? And what's next? We really care about what's next. Yeah, it's about something a Leo did. 
And you know, this is weird because another reading had the same exact ending come out where a Leo did something or was doing something. Um, and I do feel as though this could be um, related. And I wish I could tell you which video it was. This King of Wands is all over your friggin' reading, all over it. Tell me about what's next here. And they don't have to be a Leo, but they are coming through as a Leo in, this could be their moon, their rising, their Venus, their Mars. Tell me more about this King of Wands person. What's next here with this King of Wands person, King of Cups. So you might know him as a, them, them, he, she, they, as a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Um, what's next here with this situation with this uh, King of Wands, King of Cups person? What's next for Taurus? Okay, there you are. Oh, too many people. I mean, your whole reading's been about people, people, people. I need more information and less people. Tell me about what's next here for Taurus with this king of wands person regardless of their sign okay i get it two of wands came out so this person may want to um talk to you may want to come together and work with you may want to put the olive branch out see how this person like is holding her arm and then handing her something like hey I'm going to put the olive branch out. I'm going to be the one to speak my truth first, take my mask off and speak. These two came out face down. Pretty nice. Temperance and Ace of Pentacles. So this is that balance we spoke of. When someone turns the wheel, the balance comes in and a new opportunity or new start happens. You know, this actually could be something that happened at work or happened in business, but whatever it is, it brings in a really nice balance. You got the six of pentacles at the bottom of the deck as well. Balance, balance, balance happens by someone putting themselves out there, whether it's you or them, because, you know, um, these, all these readings and all these actions could be vice versa happy new year everybody please don't forget to hit that like for me i appreciate you and i'll so guys as soon as i clicked off and got ready to clean this up i got a download about this this king of wands that did something in the past they lied about something and the person coming in um there's someone who is I don't know if it's this person that's going to um, admit something or apologize for something or something like that. This happened at work for most of you. Um, but this really has to do with, um, so this could be a legality. This could be, you know, um, a coworker. This could be um, HR. I don't know. There's something, or, you know, or it could be something more personal, of course. I'm just saying for most of you this, so for most of you this happened in business. Something to do with business and someone who lied and then this is getting like exposed. And just for some of you, so this came out after, and this happens sometimes when I click off, a message comes out afterwards. And this is exactly what happened. As soon as I went to start cleaning up, I got the message about this. So this person, uh, this page of swords reversed with this um, strength reverse with the five of pentacles really has to do with someone who lied. And that's why they showed up at the very end there with getting caught for the lie. So a lie that they told in the past, six of cups, they're getting caught for now. Okay, I hope this makes sense. And it's the king of wands we were um, clarifying and the strength card right? So I hope this makes sense to you guys. This person's coming through as a strong Leo, but they could be Sagittarius. They could be Aries. They could be really anybody. Um, you might know them as a complete different sign, and this could be their moon, the rising Venus, uh, or even Mars sign. Uh, it could be any, you know, placement really. But uh, I just want to come back on and say that. Okay, guys, good luck with this. Talk to you soon. Bye.